here your thrifty apprentice happy sunday everyone today we are going to be unboxing swatching and doing a very first demo with the artwell artist watercolor 24 half pan set now if you guys haven't seen it there is a video up where I pull these out the box. It's sort of an unboxing, but not really an unboxing. Just sort of an all video where Artwell first sent this product to me. I will link it so you can check it out if you want to. That way you can see other Artwell products that are coming up on the channel. Um, let's get into this really quickly. So here we have the Artwell half pan box just like the 24 2 box it's minimally decorated as you can see here this is a 24 tube set so this is the half pan set and they keep the decorations on it really simple but i still think it's really cute um uh, you know originally thought to myself that from the packaging it wouldn't perform as well as it did but that tube set is like one of my most recommended budget watercolor sets it's absolutely amazing in my opinion that's my opinion so art well artist watercolors 24 colors in the in half pans and uh, side of the box is going to let you know that it is by art well it gives the website lets you know that the Thanks for manufactured in PRC, which is the People's Republic of China. Not suitable for children under three. They are non-toxic and they do conform to the ASTM D4236 regulation. Let's see here. On the very back of the box, you are going to get color swatching with color number and color names. Okay. Let's crack this box open really quickly. On the inside of the box, nothing printed on the inside of the lid, but you do get the folded cloth. Now, what I found so interesting about this is I only know one other brand where the paints come like this. Just me personally that I've used. I'm not saying that there aren't others out there, but the only other one I know of that comes this way is Paul Rubens. Ironically enough, I thought that the paints from the 24 tube set performed a lot like an Owen Art product which happens to be the manufacturer and distributor of Paul Rubens as well as the Maylene Pretty Excellent. Now I'm not making any comparison between I mean I'm not saying they're produced by Owens Art I'm just simply saying that the quality of the 24 tube set reminded me a lot of you know paints that are produced by Owen Arts. Okay so you have a lavender tinted palette it has a ring on the back. The tin latches really well. It's not an issue opening and closing that. You got five mixing wells. It's your standard 24 half pan tin. Um, the side flap folds out pretty flush from what it looks like. Yeah, it does. So you shouldn't have an issue with rolling paint as long as all of them are constructed the same. And if so, you can always adjust it to get it to sit the way you want it to. All right, so the tray will remove and you have additional mixing wells on the bottom. I always like to point that out. Um, I think most people know that, but just in case you don't, you're gonna get a water brush. This is a pretty long one. It reminds me of the one that comes in the Pagos watercolor kit set. So you just, you know, screw it off and on. You fill the barrel with water, pretty easy. Remove cap, snaps on pretty securely there. And you've got nylon bristles. That's probably about a medium head brush, which I will be washing out and using. Because one, you know. So 24 half pans, pretty decent looking wrappings. It lets you know the name and the stock number. The swatching sheet included. Use this paper palette to make your own water chart. Dip your brush into clean water. Load your brush with one color and paint next to its color name. Clean your brush and repeat this step for each watercolor half pan. You will see how the watercolor looks like on paper in comparison with how it looks like dry in its half pan. Gives you some links for social media sites. Website at the bottom there. It's 
swatch palette on the inside, which gives you color name, color number, the vehicle, which is used to bind it, which is gum Arabic, the pigment numbers, the light fast grade rating, the transparency rating. So all of that is included on that information sheet. I'll probably be transferring that all to the mega, mega, mega swatch sheet. Let's take a look here really quickly. We got your standard half pan that is wrapped with their sticker logo here. Let's see. Ooh, the information on the sticker also gives you the pigment number, light fast, and transparency. So you could keep those if you wanted to. I probably will. Let's take a look here. That's definitely a machine cut. Half pan of paint. I'm sure it's glued down. I was gonna see if I could get it out. Maybe I will be able to throughout the process of testing the paints. But there you have it. It's pretty thick, actually, compared to other half pans I've seen. But it's a full half pan of paint. All right, so I'm going to unwrap all these, swatch all these, and then we will take a look at the color range and then jump into a demo. To start off with swatching here, I did take the wrappers off of each of the individual half pans. Um, the wrapper, or that wrapper should I say, contained um, the color number, the color name, pigment information, light fast information, transparency information. And it would save me having to write all of that information onto the actual swatch sheet. Now the paper I'm using to swatch with, of course, is the 100% cotton paper by Artwell because I am in the process of testing and reviewing that. Simultaneously, I'm swatching out the actual swatch chart to go inside the half pan palette itself. Although they are two completely different types of paper, um, the big swatch sheet being 100% cotton and the um, swatch sheet to go inside the palette, that's more of a mixed media paper. If I had to guess, it's about 90 pounds. It has a pretty decent texture on it and it will allow you to see the color range pretty well. Um, but the paints do puddle a little bit more on the included swatch sheet versus the 100% cotton paper that they sent. Now, the paper, I was kind of skeptical about it being a cotton paper when I initially took it out and kind of ran my hand across it because it really reminded me of the Master's Touch Fine Art Studio um, paper. And that's a cellulose paper. It sort of has the same texture stamp on the surface of the paper. But with using and swatching these, I was definitely able to tell that this paper is much more absorbent than most of the cellulose papers I've ever had any experience with. So it did kind of lead me to believe that the paper itself is 100% cotton. Now it's just a matter of testing it out over a few paintings with this paint set, as well as using some different brands of paints on it to see how it's going to hold up against any of those. Now I've moved on to swatching on a glaze of each of the swatches. Of course, the first layer is a really watery layer and the second layer is a swatch or a glaze, I'm sorry, in mass tone, just so I can see the different range of saturation that I can get in each of the particular paints. Now, I will say that these were some really bright and beautiful paints. So let's move on to a demo and see how they work out for us. Okay, family, so I finished out the swatching on the 100% watercolor paper, as well as the included swatch sheet. I did a initial layer and then a glazing layer to see how they would kind of glaze, whether they would um, become more opaque. We'll talk about all of that once we get to the review, but I did want to just see, you know, get an overall feel for how they may perform before I go into a painting with them. So now we're gonna jump into a demo. I have already sketched out the traceable for Patreon. So you will have access to that if you're a Patreon member. And I've transferred it to my watercolor paper, which is pulled from the 100% cotton paper pad by Artist Well. So I'm gonna get all of this situated, got my paints over here, grab some brush and some fresh water, a hot cup of coffee, and then we will sit down and get started on this.
Okay, friends, here we are. Let's wrap up this video. This was a very interesting first look, first impression of this 24 half pan palette by Artwell. Now I'll reiterate, I'm basing everything that I am going to be looking for from these paints on their 24 tube set, which I have reviewed and I am in, absolutely in love with. Um, so I'm curious to see if these are gonna live up to the task. Now I have a few preliminary thoughts and let's keep in mind that these are just preliminary thoughts. This is not a review, it's a first impression. I originally thought from the looks of it that maybe this palette was produced by Superior Paints because as we know, a lot of budget companies do have their uh, products white labeled from China. I've used them quite a bit here between the swatching and the preliminary demo and they aren't give, they're giving me that semi-gloss look that Superior does. I'm starting to see a bit of an indention in the paints that I've used more of. So it's leading me to lean more towards that, but I'm not going to say that exclusively now. Of course, I can never say it exclusively because I don't work for any of these companies. All of it is just me making up my best educated guess based on my experience with a lot of different brands of paints. Um, so I'm going to, you know, we'll, we'll save that for the review of these paints as well as like comparing them to other paints just to see. Swatch the paints out. Oh, I did want to show you guys this. Um, they seem to do well on the palette. This tin seems to... Do they, if you use a really, really watery wash, they do seem to have a really thin layer that make, that'll that flake, but I think that happens with a lot of budget paints. Um, but so far, so good. I don't, so far, I don't have any things super negative to say. Um, they swash out much be better on the 100% cotton paper that was included by them. Um, I'm gonna definitely be testing other brands of paints on this paper and I will be reviewing this paper with 24 half pan palette together. Uh, so I put the wrappings down onto the swatch sheet instead of having to write the information because the wrappings contain all of the relevant information from the name to the stock number, pigment number, transparency, um, as well as the um, life as writing. So decent range. I'm not going to get too much into saying too much other than I do like the way that they swatched out. And from the preliminary demo that we did together, um, I think they seem to work really well here. Um, I didn't have many issues with them at all. I'm going to do a few more paintings with them before I jump into a review, at least one more. Um, they do kind of remind me of things that I've painted with before, so I don't think it's going to take extensive testing to get around to a review. Um, but we will have one coming up really soon. And I'll review the 24 half pan glitter set completely separate from the paint and paper. So there you have it, guys. Um, that was a first look into the Artwell 24 half pan watercolor set. Hopefully you guys saw something, heard something, or just enjoyed hanging out. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and let me know you liked what you saw or you heard. Go ahead and hit that subscription button if you're new or if you're returning and you haven't subscribed. Please go ahead, do that. Guys, hit the notification bell when you subscribe. It's going to let you know when the new content is coming up, especially if you don't want to miss any more of the field testing or the review for the Artwell products that I'm going to be looking at over the next couple of weeks. You can check the video description for all of the relevant links is going to give you paints pencils pastels and markers which is the facebook group um, the most recommended product list and both the etsy and patreon links those links will help you support the channel if you choose to and just know beforehand it is greatly appreciated that wraps up today's video remember as i tell you guys at the end of every single video just keep painting and crafting